Hi, this is Charity and welcome back to the Tolbert House Challenge Renovation. So we're renovating this old house and doing daily quests. But what I decided to do for extra income is to actually use the new for rent expansion pack to turn this part of the house into an apartment. And I just used some of the furniture that I had in my inventory. And yeah, it's not too good, but it is a functional house for an adult and a toddler. So I went ahead and moved in a family that I had to actually make that just has one adult and one toddler. And I actually gave them two cats as well, since I have a lot of cat stuff. So the family that lives in here will most of the time not be around because they're just in their apartment. But I just thought that I would show you what I did. So I have a small bathroom here with a shower, a toilet, and a litter box. We have the kitchen area, and this is supposed to be like a rundown apartment. So I did leave one of the mouse holes there. And then we have the toddler's bedroom, this kind of messy and the adult bedroom which just has a cot and i thought that this would be good for someone who just has a part-time job so i did sign up the mother for a part-time job and she does have the little toddler so it, she does have a bathtub in here and a toddler potty so she has everything that she needs including the high chair and a cat scratching post cat bowls and even a little tv and so her apartment is actually quite expensive. For some reason, it's allowing me to charge like 500 simoleons a day. So that will be her area over there. And then I renovated this half to be the Tolbert's half. And this is going to be more like a living room kitchen area. I put the laundry in here and moved the desk and the computer in here. This small room right here, I'm going to renovate it to be the infant's room. I forget what his name is, and I'm not playing as that family right now, but we'll figure that out in a minute. And then this one right here is one of the girls' rooms, and I modeled it after her taste because she actually likes this type of stuff. And then the other one is more of a dark look because she actually likes that sort of thing. So we have two rooms for the girls and then one for the boy for when he gets older. But right now he is actually upstairs in his little crib. And we have this room is going to be the parents' bedroom eventually. And then this room right here is going to be a small bathroom for the parents. Now we also have this bathroom downstairs, which will be shared for the kids. And then this is going to be like a little utility closet. So that's my plans for the upstairs. Oh, and we do have this space right here for the cats. So the cat room has stayed the same. And then we have this room right here that's going to be another apartment eventually, but I don't have furniture for that one yet. And then downstairs, we have the garden area and all of the shared space. So the kitchen right now is a shared space but I might eventually move all this kitchen stuff upstairs to the Tolbert's area because I think that this one right here, yeah, they have a kitchen, but they don't have a stove. So as soon as I get a stove for them, I will probably move all of this kitchen stuff into the, into the Tolbert's area. And we might turn this area with this huge dining room space and this kitchen into another apartment. And then this half of the downstairs will be a pool area and a community space. And then the basement will probably be another apartment. And the reason why I'm doing this is because it might create some more income for our family and it might give me something to do with all the extra space because it's just way too much space for one family. Okay, so let's spin for the quest that we're going to have to do on Sunday. Discover the secret nectar recipe and make a bottle yourself. Okay, um, we don't have a nectar maker. Um, that might be a problem. Well, we're here at Don Guzman's house, so we can introduce ourselves because he's the one that knows the recipe. 
But to be honest, he should have a nectar maker at his house, and he does not. Okay, we're good friends now. Will you teach me the nectar making recipe? Okay, I don't see it. I guess we have to have the nectar making skill first. Um, I'm not sure. Let's go make some nectar. Well, here we are at the Davila residence. Let's hope that Danny Davila doesn't mind me using their nectar making apparatus. Okay, Brody finds this fun for some reason. Okay, so this was driving me nuts. I just figured out that Don Gooseman and Roberto Kringletop are not the same. Um, they look so similar. I mean, not exactly alike, but I completely thought that this was the one that had the secret nectar recipe. But nope, not him. Well, I probably cannot get my nectar making skill up to level 5 in one day anyway. So we're just going to try and get some sales at the store and hopefully not lose it all. Well, we have to spin the losing wheel and how much will we get? 27%. That's not that bad. So 27% is 670 simoleons for a total of 1,811 simoleons. So for Monday, what are we doing? Get a roommate. Okay, in order to get a roommate, we have to have an extra bed. So right now, I'm not sure if roommates work with for rent. I think they do. But right now, we technically only have three beds and five sims. Because this double bed, I think it might only count as one bed. But I'm not 100% sure on that. We'll have to figure that out. But definitely, we need some more beds. Which means we should probably go to the store and see if we can buy some or try to make some on the woodworking table. Actually, I forgot to spin the wheel for Simazon, so I ordered some things from Build Buy, and I had to pay double for them, and this is called Simazon, so basically these items will probably not be available in the store because they're doors and a window, so we have to get them from Build Buy, and this is kind of an offset for the chance of getting them or not getting them. The shipment was delayed. Your package will arrive in two days. All right. So today is Monday and we will be getting it on Wednesday. And this is what I ordered. So basically we have a bunch of doors and a water heater and a window. Oh, we have enough handiness now to make a bed. Well, that's good. Uh-oh, there's an electrical failure. So we have to repair all of the items? Great. Okay, so we got rid of the electrical failure now. Now I had to download a mod because unfortunately I could not get a roommate with all of the cats that I have in my household. So now we have this room right here with a bed, a side table, a desk, and a chair. And we're going to put a roommate here. However, this means that when Amos grows up, he won't have his own room. Now, right now, he's an infant. So what I'm going to do is just allow him to sleep in the same room with Katerina and Brody. And we'll see what happens later on when Amos becomes a toddler. Now we just need to find a roommate. I think most people are already going to have a home, though. Well, I think the paparazzi might not have a home. So, unfortunately, we might have to ask one of them, even though they're kleptos. It's not a good idea if you can help avoid it. Oh, no, that one already has a home. Okay. Okay, it seems like everyone already has a home. This is unfortunate. Well, I'm not sure we can make it there in time, but one place to find townies that don't have a home is in the Magic Realm. Well, this is the most interesting sage I have seen yet. Kremlin Low is our sage of mischief magic. Now we only have until midnight to ask him to be a roommate, but the sages have to be 
homeless. So they are guaranteed to accept your roommate proposal unless they just don't like you. Come on, Brody. Don't take the longest way possible. Jog. You only have about 40 minutes left. All right. Will you be my new roommate? Yes. Okay. We have a roommate. So that also means that he will no longer be the Sage of Mischief. Maybe? Well, actually, maybe he will. I think that even though they move into a place as a roommate, they will still show up as the sage in the magic realm. However, they will not be the sage outside of the magic realm. Well, that's the end of Tuesday, and our roommate is sleeping in his bed in his room with a ghost and some cats. Do we have Spooky on this lot still? I thought that we didn't. Okay, we do not. So that must mean that for whatever reason, there's an urn somewhere. Wait a second. Mo Mura? Wasn't that our tenant? What? Okay, no. Allison Wiley is our tenant. For some reason, I thought that our tenant had died, but no. Okay, we do owe them a fine, though, because they broke the no trash overload. Where is this person's grave then? And why is it here? Why is it at my house? Oh, right. Yes, this is the one that we killed when we were trying to meet Grim. I completely forgot about her. Yeah, we are supposed to be trying to resurrect this one. Um, all right, that's my bad. So now we get to spin the winning wheel. And how much will we get? A whopping 12%. That's great. We get another 512 simoleons for a total of 4,855 simoleons. Now what will the quest be for the next day? And we spin the wheel. What will it be? Oh no, feed a bizarre fruit to a random sim and at least one household sim. Well, that's just great. This means that we won't have any problems with the needs of that one person, but that one person will be unavailable between the hours of like 1 a.m. and 3 a.m. No, don't take my plants, lady. This is not your plant garden. I guess I should assign this to my apartment if I don't want them taking the plants. Well, here we are in Strangerville, and I have to buy the bizarre fruit. We'll go ahead and get five of them. Now, the only thing is, I think you have to have a higher level mischief skill in order to feed someone the bizarre fruit. I don't remember how high a level it needs to be. Oh no, it's just doesn't matter. It's under the mischief skill, but you don't need any skill. Well, Ian, sorry, but you were the first person that I saw. And he ate it. Alright, now we just have to go home and everyone else has to eat it. Well, I guess Brody will be the first one to eat it. While we are here, we will open up the store. And we're going to be possessed for three hours. Okay, maybe we can snap him out of it. I think I'm going to have Katarina eat one, too. Well, that was easy. Okay, Brody and Katarina are close. That's fine. Oh, Katarina aged up to an adult. I kind of forgot today was their birthday. And Brody's birthday, too. Well, the kids are home from school, and I know that they cannot become possessed. But if they eat the bizarre fruit, do they become infected? And then when they become teenagers, they get possessed? I don't know. Let's find out. Well, it does restore some of their hunger. And no, they don't get the infected trait. All right. No one wants to buy the statue over here. Well, we get to spin the winning wheel. And how much will we get? 64%. That's another 8,767 simoleons for a total of 22,465 simoleons. 
Now we also get our Simazon delivery today since it's Wednesday. So I will place all of these doors and the water heaters and the electrical boxes where they belong. But let's see what quest we have to do today. Go to the nightclub and don't fall asleep or pee your pants. 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. Must have five drinks and dance. Okay, that should be pretty easy since we're actually going to have all of our needs refilled by the bizarre fruit and becoming possessed. But we just have to make sure that we get five drinks and dancing in before 1 a.m. Well, it's 1 a.m. It's possession time. Katarina has been feeling really cheerful lately. Things are going well and Katarina doesn't have a care in the world. Okay, she's going to be cheerful now. At least we got the infant fed. Well, if you ever need to keep your zombies from wandering around, you can just tell them to climb the stairs because it seems like they get stuck on it. So we're just here at the store trying to sell some things until it's 10 p.m. Well, Brody makes some flower arrangements. Those are some of the best ways to make money, but we're not going to mark them up, so it's slightly under control because of that. Oh no, there's an electrical failure at the other unit, so we're going to have to deal with that pretty soon. I did go ahead and purchase a recycler for the shop, so anytime I buy something for the store directly from Build Buy, it costs 10 times the amount as what the price is listed. And the reason for that is I don't want to encourage buying stuff directly from Build Buy, especially stuff that does not go through Simazon because there is no chance of losing it. So also once you put something at the store, you cannot take it to the house. So I do need to buy some things for the store that will never be available from the shops. So that's why I do allow some purchases to go through Build Buy directly for the store. Okay, and we have also purchased roofing materials for Simazon. So this should probably come in two day because we're gonna use the two day shipping. So this should come in on Friday morning and I have purchased enough roofing material to cover the entire roof with this thatch because we're going to go for an island theme. However, since roofing doesn't actually cost anything in Build Buy, what I have done is just charged eight simoleons for the area of the roof. And the way I calculate the area is I just count the tiles for all of the roofing pieces and add them up. And then I also count the edges and we'll charge eight simoleons for the edges for the trim, basically. So there is roofing material of thatch and trim of thatch. And then I have to double it because it's coming from Simazon. So the total was 11,600 simoleons. Hopefully we do not lose this package. So we are going to our rental unit and we need to repair all of the broken items in here. And we need to check and see if there are any broken items in the common area. I do not see any. All right, so we have finished the repairs and we can go back home now and take care of our needs. Although it doesn't look like all of the repairs have been finished. All right, well, these events are kind of bugged because I'm not done repairing the TV. It should not have completed. I think it completed right when I repaired the electrical fuse box, but I still wasn't done with the TV. Well, it's 11 p.m. and we're at the nightclub. I don't know if we have time for five drinks and dancing, but we'll try. All right, I used my second sim to order a couple of drinks. And so we have all five drinks. For some reason, Brody's bladder is just not going down. Does he have the... No, he does not have the tray. Oh, no, he does. Steel bladder. Okay. That's very fortunate because otherwise we'd be in trouble. And I think we're not going to make it anyway because it's 1 a.m. and he's about to go possessed. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Okay, well, we lose this time because we didn't get here in time to drink five drinks and dance. 
All right, so we have to spin the losing wheel, and how much are we going to lose? 31%. So that's minus 1,666 simoleons for a total of 3,708 simoleons. Now let's figure out what we're going to do for Thursday. Explore the cave in Sulani and come back with at least one item. Well, hopefully this will be a little bit easier. All right, now that we finally snapped out of it, let's go home. Oh, that's good. Katerina is going to like cooking. Oh, look, it's Harvest Fest. That means we're going to have gnomes everywhere. Well, lucky for me, we are right next to the cave. Okay, exploring deep into the cave, Brody discovered an underground beach occupied by an ancient sea wreck. While exploring the wreckage, the rotted wood began to sway from the tidal waters coming in and out of the cove. Realizing the area would flood and soon, Brody fled the rising waters back into the cave's tunnels, leaving the discovery behind. Okay, well, we have to explore again. Light in the dark. Near the end of Brody's exploration, he spotted light radiating from a passage ahead. Distracted and not looking where he was stepping, Brody cartwheeled into an underground river. Drenched and forgetting about the light, Brody decided to cut his adventure short rather than press on with soaked clothing. He's a mermaid. He doesn't care about that. Mermaid, merman, whichever you'd like to use. Okay, bat colony. Roosting above Brody's head, a colony of bats was resting in a tight group. Careful not to wake them, Brody spied on the colony, realizing bats could be quite cute when not swarming around. Okay, you didn't find anything there? Lava tubes. Brody spent this trip into the cave, navigating the waters of the numerous lava tubes left behind during the formation of the island. Along one tube, Brody felt something brush against his leg. A long tentacle protruding from another passage was attempting to wrap itself around his leg. Jerking free from the appendage, Brody swam as quickly as he could back to where he entered the tubes. Not wanting to risk the predator getting a second attempt, Brody called his trip early and headed back to the entrance of the cave. Wow, there is something dangerous down there? All right, while exploring a cave on the beach, Brody discovered a wall scrawled with messages left behind by tourists and young deans. Deciding he couldn't leave the cave without signing his own signature along the wall, Brody followed his predecessors. Now his name is emblazed for all future intrepid spelunkers. All right, so there's this graffiti next to the wall or some kind of mural and it keeps drawing itself the more and more you explore the cave. But I've never really finished it. Let's see if we can get it finished. But actually, oh, there's search for wildlife now. That's kind of interesting. I've never seen that option before. Playful dolphins. In a moment of quiet between Brody's echoing footsteps, he heard the distinctive sound of dolphins rubber beat towards him. Excited to see the dolphins in the wild, Brody followed the sound to the source. A pod of dolphins were playing in a cave pool, tossing around a mass of seaweed and breaching the water with marvelous jumps. It didn't take long for the dolphin to spot Brody and bolt for the pool's exit stream. Left alone with the wad of seaweed that landed nearby in the dolphin's escape, Brody decided to move off, sad he had scared away from the dolphins. Okay, we did not get the seaweed, so therefore we still have not found anything in this cave. And we got the lava tubes again. Okay, strange noise. Brody heard a strange sound echoing in the cave as he explored its depths. Following the reverberations, he discovered the mesmerizing sight of a rainbow-patterned stalactites and reflected stalagmites. Forgetting about his intent for continued exploration, Brody spent his time marveling at the wonders in front of him before deciding to head back to the surface. Brody, you have to find something. I think we did find something in the cave, though, because I have this heart of Solani that I'm pretty sure that I didn't have before, but it didn't really say that I found something. We'll just keep exploring. I should probably try and finish the mural anyway. 
Okay, I think we actually found something this time. Lava tubes. Again? Oh, but it's a little bit different. Brody spent his trip into the cave navigating the waters of the numerous lava tubes left behind during the formation of the island. Along one tube, Brody found a cluster of rare crystals growing out from the walls. Trying his luck, he loosened a few and took them back to the surface. Okay, so we did get a rose crystal. And we have filled out the mural, I'd say maybe halfway. I don't know. I've never finished this before, so I have no idea what you have to do to finish it. Okay, this time we found glow worms because we're searching for wildlife. But I don't know if that helps to finish the mural. It doesn't look like it's filling out anymore. I'm just going to try and catch some fish so that I can make a grand meal because we don't have enough things that we can do in order to finish Katerina's holiday. Well, I suppose we should fix the rental unit because they're having another electrical failure. So we get to spin the winning wheel, and what will we get? 36%. So we get another 2,245 simoleons for a total of 8,480 simoleons. And now we spin the wheel for the next day. What are we going to do on Friday? Push the limits at the gym until you have a sore muscle. Well, this might be a problem if we're already fit because you don't get a sore muscle as often, but I will take any negative moodlet from working out as having a sore muscle. Well, we came back just in time for the zombie thing to happen. Oh well. We also get to see if our Simazon order came in today since it's Friday. And your package was delivered safely. Oh, that's good. That was really expensive. Well, that looks better. We still need windows. We need paneling on the sides. We need foundation and columns. I think maybe the next thing we'll go for is the foundation. Of course, foundations don't cost any money. So I'll have to just say, let's go with maybe 10 simoleons per foundation trim. So I have to count out the perimeter and basically apply that. I think maybe I'll leave this alone for the greenhouse because it makes more sense for the greenhouse to have a wooden platform because it's a different building anyway. It's just kind of tacked on there. I might actually close that in sometime and make a wall here and then have to make an outside door, which means I probably didn't need that window. I probably could have put another door there instead of a window, but that's okay. So I figured it's about 2,000 simoleons. Well, here we are at the Oasis Springs gym and Katerina, are you going to go work out in your swimsuit? You better change. Okay, she did change. Okay, Katerina is now clumsy, I guess because she's falling on the treadmill. All right, I guess that's fine. And Brody is now active. Well, we're working out at the gym until we get hurt. So yeah, we're kind of active right now. Okay, we have fatigued from working out. So I will take that as a sore muscle, even though it's not really a sore muscle. So we left the kids at home and we're going to a local bar. In order, no, we don't want to go out on a date with you, Simeon. Anyway, we're going to get something at the local bar because it's night on the town and everything is free. And I think it counts, if, yes, it counts if you order drinks. You don't have to order food. So Katerina got strawberry nectar and Brody got a buffalo wing tea. Oh, Katerina wants to try for a baby with Brody? Really? We have enough kids. We have three kids already and a roommate. Um, well, maybe we'll do it. We'll see. Are there any elders here? I need to discuss my fear of death. Stop chatting, Brody. Just finish your drink. I don't think there are any elders here. Oh, look, here's an elder. Oh, no, she's a young adult. All right. Well, she's a townie, and I guess they imported her as a young adult. All right. Oh, Don Gooseman is an elder. That's right. We should invite him to come hang out so that we can talk to him. Oh, look, here's another elder. 
All right, we had a nice night on the town, and she's feeling really flirty from the strawberry nectar. So we'll try for baby once in the waterfall. And if this doesn't work, or if 1 a.m. comes around too soon and stops you from trying, then we're not doing this again. Okay, Katerina is not pregnant. Maybe next time. All right, and she doesn't have that want anymore, so we are not having a baby. Is Kremlin Low an actor? Am I going to have to get him his own mirror? No, he's a live chat support agent. That doesn't make any sense. I guess acting is a hobby. Okay, I'm trying to get Amos fed and his diaper changed before they start going crazy with their possession, but I think think I'm not going to make it. At least you got fed, Amos, and your energy is full, so you should be fine. Alright, put him down, quickly. Okay, yeah, you're already putting him down. Good, I think they make you put him down when you go to transform. So we get to spin the winning wheel with 8,682 simoleons. What percentage will we gain? Oh, a high one? 91%! That's great! That's another 7,901 simoleons for a total of 16,583 simoleons. Now for the last quest of the week, what will be the challenge? Free Wishing Well arrives safely and instantly from Simazon. Everyone makes a wish without tipping it. 10x if a sim dies. Oh, this is just great! All right, we do get a free wishing well. And what should we wish for, really? We can't tip it, so whatever face it has is the face it has. If it has a good face, it has a good face. If it has a bad face, it has a bad face. So we could make one of the girls younger, but that's not really a good wish. Uh, we have two A students. I have no idea what we should wish for. Maybe simoleons? Oh, we can't. All right, so we can wish for better grades, youthful vigor, skills, or happiness. It's Saturday, so they won't have to go to school. Let's just make this wish in the morning because, to be honest, I don't think it will do any good to make a wish at night before you go to bed because if you get happiness or skills, then you won't be able to make use of the buff anyway. So we're going to wait until tomorrow morning or at least when they wake up. Well, it's too bad we didn't get it yesterday because we have 164 days until age up. So we're an adult. We could have used it to reset our young adult, but oh well. Maybe we should make a random wish. Yeah, I think that's what we should do because I really don't want any of these. Uh, all of them are kind of meh, except for maybe simoleons and... That might lose me some oleans. So we'll just do a random one. All right, which one is Katarina going to wish for? Happiness. All right, here is Katarina's wish for happiness. And the death one for this means you get to be uh, too playful, basically. Oh no, she got rage cleaning. Katarina convinces herself that she's happy through clenched teeth. It seems the wish, whispering wishing well may have ignored Katarina's plea. Okay. At least she is not, oh, what's the word for very, very happy? Hysterical. Yeah, hysterical can actually kill you. Okay, what are we going to wish for for Brody? I'm going to re-roll every time because I don't want everyone to wish for the same thing. Simoleons! Okay, I think this one cannot result in death. I'm pretty sure. And the wishing well is very happy. That's pretty good. And here goes our wish for simoleons. Maybe we'll get a little bit of money. Um, that looks like a lot of money. 23,354! Brody just beat the 1 in 175 million odds and won the lottery. I thought the lottery was a million simoleons. That's a lot of simoleons, but that's not the lottery number of simoleons. Well, we can 
wish for better grades, youthful vigor, happiness, or skills with children. We cannot do simoleons. Although better grades will not do anything, but this role is going to be for Elise. She is going to wish for better grades. Yeah, she has an A already, so she's probably just going to lose a grade here. Well, good luck, Elise. You're probably going to get a B. Oh, that was bad. Elise Tolbert, it's the school's vice principal calling. I'm aware that you've been attempting to cheat to improve your grades. Did you think news of the existence of a mystical wishing well wouldn't spread around town? Your school performance has dropped accordingly. You'll need to complete some extra credit work if you wish to regain your former status. Get it? Wish? Ha ha ha. Oh, wow. We are at the borderline of dropping down to a B, but who cares? Her school performance is just poor. No big deal. And now for Alexa. Alexa is going to wish for skills. The face is still mischievous, so this is probably going to be a bad one. Yep, she got a bad one. Oh, and now it's death. The last thing Alexa remembers is a fleeting moment of clarity, as if all the world's combined knowledge rushed into her head, only to have it burst upon discovering a brain too small to store it. It's time for Alexa to take a break from improving any skills for a while. So she has mind numbed. The last, yeah, with the exact same text as before for four hours. Well, that's only a dazed plus three. I don't know if it actually has any effect on her skills unless it's the top emotion. But right now, she has inspired as her mood blitz. Now, Amos cannot make any wishes, unfortunately, because he is an infant. I think you have to be a child. I don't even think toddlers can make a wish. So... The rules say that everyone must make a wish, I believe. Yes, everyone makes a wish without tipping it. So therefore, Amos has to age up. All right, fortunately, he has the ability to sit. So he, since he can scoot, I don't think anyone has to hold him in order for him to age up. And he's going to be an angelic toddler, but not for very long. All right, Amos, we're skipping straight to child. And now he's a child. He can be, oh, a kleptomaniac. That is very interesting. That might actually help. And he's going to be a social butterfly. Hello, Amos. Now, Amos is a child, so he has the same child wishes. Unfortunately, we have a death face, and he's going to wish for happiness. Okay. Well, he can't die from emotional deaths, so it should be fine. Ah, uh, Amos, your toddlerhood was completely skipped, and you were an infant for a very long time, actually. But I think we just got lucky that we got to skip the toddler phase with him. Oh, and it is not a good sign. Oh, he is hysterical. Can't stop smiling from making a wish. Well, that normally would... Playful 99 for four hours. That would normally have a risk of killing an adult, but not a child or a teenager. So it really doesn't matter. However, we need to make a room now for Amos. And this is going to be difficult. What I might have to do is just give the Tolberts the downstairs area. I was going to make this another apartment, but their family is just too big, especially since they have a roommate now. So I think that we're going to have to make this room up here back into a bedroom instead of making it a living room kitchen area because it's too small. 
And it makes sense that they would have the most luxurious large apartment anyway. So they're going to have the downstairs area as their kitchen, living and dining. And then all of the bedrooms will be upstairs. So we'll just have to make like a little hallway here so that this suite upstairs, maybe this suite upstairs could be the roommates. That would make more sense that he gets his own bathroom as well. I was going to make it so that it is a separate uh, toilet and shower area and then a bedroom over here. And then maybe we can just keep this bedroom right here as the parents' bedroom, just in case they have any extra children. Because if they have any more kids, we really don't have any more room here for more bedrooms. We can make more bedrooms downstairs. But it's going to be kind of weird for any of the kids to be separated from the parents unless they're a teenager. So I probably will put the roommate downstairs eventually and, or maybe just keep them upstairs. We'll see. Depends on whether or not it, Katerina and Brody have any more children. All right. So for now... Amos gets the small bedroom with only a couple of windows. Sorry. But we move the roommate up here to the loft space, which actually has no windows yet. So hopefully he's okay with that for now. Eventually we'll have a bathroom up here for him. And right now he has to go through Brody and Katarina's bedroom in order to get to his bed. So yeah, we might have to fix that. Okay, this is the little shop STL by Chatoli, by Chatoli, I think. I'm not sure on that pronunciation, but we need to get some new things, especially old oh, bathroom items. Well, these are a little bit pricey, but we need some more bathroom stuff. And this is the Bougie Boutique by Jules Woohoo. All right, let's see if they have any bathroom items in here. Uh, we got one shower. I'm not sure if we need that many showers. We already have a bunch. We do have a refrigerator though. And I don't really want any spa stuff right now. It's nice that we get two options for wallpaper, but those are a little weird. All right, that's all we're going to get here. And this is the Little Shop Big Adventure by McMacMuck. And we have a lot of Batu stuff. I'm not sure if I need any living room items right now. I think I'm going to maybe buy this trash can, but I can't. So I'll have to buy it later. This is kind of interesting. It's an outdoor light. I don't think I have any outdoor lights. We do have a hanging light, even though that is really low. I'm not sure if we can even use that anymore, but we'll try. Of course, Brody cannot get to it. I think it's because the coffee table's in the way. Oh well. So we're just spending the rest of the day at the retail store and trying to make some extra simoleon. Well, that's the end of the day. So we get to spin the winning wheel. And what will we get for our final day in the Tolbert household? Well, 32%? Yeah, that's not so bad. That's another 11,694 simoleons for a total of 48,239 simoleons. So we have quite a bit for next time in order to do some renovations and build out those apartments. So we're just putting everyone to bed and taking care of their needs. And we'll see you again next week. This is Charity. Thanks for watching. <laughs>